So welcome back guys i hope that you all are doing fine so from today onwards we are going to start our uh, new video lecture on uvm that is universal verification methodology so in order to understand about uvm you should have good understanding of system verilog because uh, uvm becomes very easy if you know system verilog because uh, like uh, uvm is nothing but the extended version of system verilog so you will get to know about the advantages of why we are going to uh, why we are going for uvm because as you know in system verilog also we can write uh, we can develop a test bench and verify the design but uh, important point to note is if you see in system verilog test benches if you see uh, for complex designs you will see different sort of test bench like uh, if you see the test bench for uh, full adder or if you see the test bench for uh, verifying the axi protocol you will see that there will be a lot of difference and in order to understand it it uh, it will be very uh, time consuming and also developing that test bench is also very uh, time consuming so because of that reason we are moving to uvm so how uvm helps here is uh, if you see uh, uh, like in uvm there is a common test bench like uh, the skeleton is a common we have a common skeleton here skeleton to develop a test bench to develop a test bench is common so you, it will be uh, really helpful to understand the uh, test bench like if you can understand the uh, test bench for a uh, pull adder as well as the test bench which is set up set up to verify the axi protocol you will find it you can understand it very easily like uh, the structure is very similar like uh, and also the main uh, important point for why we are going for uvm is reusability because what will happen if you uh, see in case of system verilog the reusability is very less because uh, you will write different sort of uh, sequencer uh, driver monitor so different uh, different uh, logic will be there for each and every uh, type but here if you see the skeleton is common so because of that reason we can uh, go for uvm and uh, also we can verify the complex designs uh, very easily so and also develop a test bench uh, uh, like we can come up with the test bench very easily as well as here if you see the debugging is also very easy here in system verilog debugging is uh, like sorry sorry in uvm the debugging is very easy as well as uh, if you see the time requirement for uh, developing the test bench is also very less so uh, let's go through uh, like uh, uvm uh, structure like uh, how it looks uh, test bench structure so if you see the test bench structure of uvm looks like this uh, so here if you see there is a test there is a environment and inside the environment you will see there is a, a scoreboard and agent and inside agent you will see there is a sequencer driver and monitor then there is an interface uh, using this interface we are driving our stimulus to the dut and we are receiving the uh, output uh, through monitor and also we are uh, uh, we are giving this uh, this uh, output to our scoreboard so the structure is uh, like this here so uh, in order to know about uvm uh, like uvm is nothing but it's uh, like uh, base classes there are a lot of base classes here lot of base classes and macros so if you see uh, in system verilog if you remember we used to uh, write a base class and we used to extend that base class and we used to uh, write additional code into that extended class so similarly here also here there are a lot of base classes for uh, uh, all the components like uh, you see in this like we have this a uh, base class for this scoreboard we have a base class for monitor driver sequencer we have to just extend that class and develop our test bench it will be really easy to come up with a test bench here and a uh, uh, lot of base classes and here there is, there is some set of rules like uh, there is a set of rules which we need to follow uh, and regulations while developing a test bench which i will explain you further in upcoming sessions uh, and also to explain you more let's uh, see about the uvm uh, hierarchy like how it goes uvm class hierarchy 
so here there is a uvm object uh, which is the core core uh, core core co core class we can say so because it contains uh, all the methods that is a compare method copy method pack unpack print record all these methods will be present here and we are uh, like uh, we are getting we are deriving the uh, uvm transaction and uvm component from uvm object so uh, definitely all these methods will be also present in this so uvm component uh, if you see uvm component is uh, uh, is basically used to develop the test bench and uh, uh the develop a test bench so here you will see all the test bench component that is environment agent driver test fifo sequencer monitors subscribers scoreboard so we will see all this and also there is a uh, if you see the skeleton of all this uh, components you will see that there is a uh, phases are there like build phase connect phase check phase report phase so all these are there i will uh, explain you in the further sessions so this is a like a hierarchy you should understand about object uvm object transaction uvm component and also uvm event so basically these three are important that is uvm object component and uh, this uvm transaction okay so so the things uh, so things which we are going to discuss in upcoming sessions are uh we will uh, understand about the reporting mechanism uh that is like uh, we have uvm info tick uvm uh, we have a uh, warning is there then we have tick uvm uh error is there then we have tick uvm fatal so we are going to understand each and every uh, reporting uh, reporting uh, macro in depth and uh, also then we have to understand about the tlm as you know in mail uh, as you know in system well log we had a mailbox right for uh, uh, dri for driving the data from uh, sequencer to driver so similarly here there, uh, there is a transaction level modeling uh, so as you see he uh, here uh the we are uh, we are transferring the data from monitor to scoreboard using tlm so these are the symbol uh, which we are using to represent the tlm we will understand this in more depth uh, so, and also uh, and there is a tlm then we will understand about uh, components uh, that is uh, components and uh, objects and we will also components are basically as you know we are using the components to develop the test bench uh, to build the test bench and uh, also we will understand about the factory method which is very important factory uh, factory method and uh, also there is a configuration database method uvm config db and uvm resource db so that is uh, also very important so we will understand about it and also we need to understand about sequencer sequencer and uh, sequences so we will understand about it in depth and also a uh, lot of macros are there so while developing a test bench we will go to we will go through each and everything uh, in depth so so no need to worry so in upcoming sessions i will create a separate video for all these topics and uh, i hope you will find it very useful so guys please let me know if you want uh, more videos and in, in, for any particular topic in the comment section um, so do like share and subscribe to our channel so thank you guys for uh, listening for watching to for watching towards the end listening and watching towards the end so see you in the next session thank you